we're not a lot okay uh i just want to make a quick video because about hair black hair black women hair and in the workplace i don't really real think that a lot of black people really realize to definition you know you can't discriminate against persons you know uh, color sexual orientation blah 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 how they born if they you know they are twisted up you can't that's something that happened at birth um if you know they you know their face look messed up to society standards you know because of some deformity genetically that's how they were born you cannot discriminate against that if they cannot talk if they cannot see if they cannot walk you know some of that's born by from birth being born into this world and then some of that is you know accident some of anything you can be paralyzed so but uh for black people and our natural kink or um uh twist or curl to our hair follicle that's not acceptable in the workplace and that's not deemed professional now you know they've been used now they don't put a new spin on it but they've always used that and they weren't so like oh that's just you know we don't deem that you know it's you know because we need an image here or you have a certain image that you know we'd like to for you know clean cut da, 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 da. no it used to be you know a way to 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 not hire niggers at the time because that's when that when all that you know because the nappy hair you know you nappy there's probably products that were named you know after the nappy hair and you know there all types of you know that was uh our kinkness to our hair was something to uh laugh at to pick at and it was distasteful to white people they didn't like it they discriminated against it they talked about I mean, all types of shit so fast forward 100 years you know, there's still, it's, and through the generations, it's still, it's been an issue. Um, and I, I think that by law, they, they do not pass a law that you can't discriminate against a person that has, you know, certain things. You can't discriminate on how a person was born. And black people, unless you have some type of engine in your family or whatever that old stupid shit is or whatever, if you have a little bit of, of a finer hair texture or it's not your hair follicle isn't as curly or kinked, then, you know, you may not, you know, have this particular issue. But there's millions upon millions upon millions. I mean, like globally, I probably, I mean, I'm many people, black people, it is a billion or two three, four, probably four billion people, black people. I don't know. Anyway, we are being discriminated against in this country by how we look come from birth. That is discrimination by their own definition. And you still have black people up here psychologically traumatized and to accepting someone telling you how you look at birth is deemed somehow distasteful or unprofessional or you know that's just that oh i just I, I i don't understand black people i don't i don't explain it to me how that's i mean it's so such a contradictory statement you oh that's not professional but you then you go and tell your child you know you know not to care about what other people think about them um, you know, and to be yourself and da, da 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 but we ain't being ourselves and we're allowing to still be discriminated against by our hair texture. Okay. Um, I started back wearing the weaves. Um, I literally been growing my hair back for like, uh, since March of this year. Cause I used to wear a ball fade for, for many years, probably like five, six years. Loved it because I just, you know, just loved it. The air on my scalp. Anyway, but start growing it back. But then as I was growing it back and it was starting to grow, it has a little kink to it. Now I put the little moisturizers and things and stuff. It's, you know, but it's still, it's short and it's not straight. So I got a lot of, you know, flack about it. And, you know, I fought against it for a, a long period of time. I think till like July or something like that. Because I ended up going out of town. But you know what I said, you know, cause, and it's sad because it's, it was black people even at my job that was like, you know, didn't even want to, you know, oh, try to separate themselves. Like, oh my God, no, I don't know that. I, I don't know what she's doing. She's, you know what? 
I don't know what she's doing with that hair. I just, I don't know, it's just so unprofessional. You know, like, they wanted to distance themselves from you so bad, and they would, like, look the other way, like, oh, my God, I don't know her. Uh, she's not like us. I don't know what you're going, oh, my God, you are like, I'm homely or something because I don't have weave in my hair or my hair is not straight. I didn't put a perm in it and then put little, you know, because it was, like, it was a bald face, so it's, like, a, even not even an inch, you know, it's just growing, and, oh, I do that, I'm supposed to, you know, get that creamy crack and straighten it out and try to put bump of curls in it and maybe some, you know, or whatever, or, you know, it just, it, 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 I, so I just said, you know what, it was just so much. And even when I did go to cut my hair five years ago, it was a significant change. As soon as I started to cut, I cut my hair, things started to go down here for me at the corporation, um, that I worked for. Um, it was a lot of, you know, I noticed that b black women, that wear natural hair all of a sudden we are combative without even speaking uh we're you know angry or we're some towel on the defensive because we look natural we look ethnic we look like we're supposed to look we look like us instead of looking like the conquering race or the dominant race i don't like to say dominant because they're not geno by genes but they're just the conquerors they are they're the conquering uh, 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 people that have conquered the whole world. Okay. So we don't, we are not assimilating to what they look like. So they feel more comfortable, you know, uh, us who, who were, you know, our natural hair and things like that. We, we don't, uh, you know, so there's, there's an issue, but anyway, I just find it just really amazing to me that how, um, we are still be, we are not even fighting, fighting for this. Like, you know what? how you know you but 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 we have black people say yeah oh yeah this is yeah you know it's not professional but then a go and, and somebody that wants to have uh wear something on top of their head due to a belief system that is okay now that a belief system is not something you're born with it's something that you made a conscious decision to go with this particular thought process that is something that happened after birth Yet that, there are laws that protect that. But, and we'll fight for that. Oh, yeah, you need to be able to wear, you know, you know, because of my religious beliefs and this and that, you should be able to wear that, That's you know, and be, you know, fighting for that, but won't, but but it's okay for, for and it's accepted. We're not pushing back on the issue that this, it, call a spade a spade. Um, I don't care if it's, that's how it's always been. That's what it is. And well, shoot, you know, you know, that's call a spade a spade. It's, it's the truth. We, it is still the most, uh, prevalent and most, uh, uh, normal. It's so normal now that it's accepted. Like this race is just like, I guess when we were just, you know, being called a nigga, uh, you know, that was just for whatever reason, you know, people come, I mean, I don't know. It just, it just, I can't understand why we're still holding on to that. Why are we, we have not fought back on that. Why are we not like, this is a class action lawsuit, a hundred thousand black women and a class action lawsuit because this let needs to be, it's, it's the, call a spade a spade. It is discrimination. This is how it's born. Your laws say you cannot discriminate against how a motherfucker is born. And then you know goofy ass black. And the only reason why I'm putting this shit in my hair, but I know the truth. I'm putting it in my hair because it's just easier to just, you know what, let me, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get my money. I'm just going to get my money. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting out because I'm, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm transitioning. Things are happening in my life and I'm, you know, I'm moving away and things like that. So, you know, I'm just going to get my paper, stick my paper and, and leave it alone. But I just can't believe this. Anyway, that's my, my ramble.